You just press play on the Last Breath Hunt cast, home of the Huntroversy. We're here to entertain, educate, and engage. And in case you didn't know, you only live once. But if you do it right, once is enough. Don't waste it. Okay, everybody, welcome to episode number 69 of the Last Breath Hunt cast. It was like God knew that on episode number 69, we needed to be joined by Logan and Allie again. <laughs> <laughs> How awesome is that? So our guest today, Garrett and I don't need an introduction, but who are you? Diagonal person across from me. I'm six and you're nine. <laughs> <laughs> We can take turns. Yeah, I'm nine. I'm nine. I'm just I am Logan Bulkus. I am Garrett Bulkus's wife. That would Wifey. make sense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Not, not cousins You're, or anything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> people out that there are like. Weird. People out there are like, yeah, logical. That makes sense. Yeah. Moving I, on. Yeah. And who are you? I'm Allie Mangelsdorf, and I'm. Me. <laughs> yes, Nobody, you, nobody's in the room. Wife. Yeah. Yes, soon you are. to be. Yes, Allie, you are. Allie. Yeah, soon. That's right. Um, before we dive into this, uh, what I'm sure is to become a pretty good episode. This is just a reminder that every Monday you guys can listen to a new episode of the Last Breath Hunt Cast on Spotify, iTunes, and Libsyn, and you can watch it every Tuesday on YouTube. So speaking of YouTube, go subscribe. We got badass stuff on there. Lots of stuff, gun stuff, bow stuff, tree cl- tree stand stuff, building ground blind stuff, hunting stuff, big bucks, turkeys, mule deer, bear, antelope, stuff like that. So go hit us up on YouTube. So episode 69's topic is very simple. Logan and Allie just got it done this morning on a buck they call Strong Hand. They yeah, strong hand. buddy. <laughs> <laughs> the Strong Hand. <laughs> and it's a story of their November 9th buck. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. So... Okay. You guys have been hunting your rucation for the past how Since many days? Yeah, we just counted this. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Well, this morning was our 10th sit. Yeah, because mm-hmm. we started on Wednesday, morning, night, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, just morning, yep. and then Sunday, morning, night, and then this morning. Yes. It's been the start of a new week. <laughs> we're like pretty much best friends now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> we were before we are now. Right? We know what each other like, smell like. <laughs> You've galvanized your bond. We have. This is true. So coming from the man that's double fisting. What? <laughs> yeah. They brought the other thing. The shooters. The shooters. We Tell had to drink the shooters. the shooters to celebrate the shooters. Tell everybody what Polish shooters are, because we got listeners from all over. Oh. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, in our little hometown, well, I guess kind of my hometown in Milan, we have this little podunk bar called the Knoxville Tap. It's where you find all those ladies with the summer teeth. Like some, <laughs> some are there, some are not. Well, we, so me and, Logan, <laughs> me and Logan walk in there tonight after we get done hunting, and uh, we're like half camo, half whatever the top half is going on. I'm not sure. And then, well, I took my mucks off, but we had like Crocs and some weird sandals on. I was like, dude, we're gonna fit right into this bar. Like people are not even gonna like question like what are they wearing. They're like, yeah, you probably grew up here. <laughs> yeah, I didn't feel bad at all. No, oh, not I at didn't. all. <laughs> But they like they're known for their pole shooters. Like people go there just to get, and it's technically like a shot. But we're just drinking it like a mixed drink because if it tells you anything, there is no label on the bottle, and that's permanent marker. This <laughs> for sure. Yeah, they reuse those bottles for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean they just put a little piece of tape over the top of the cap to ensure your safety. I'm not sure yeah. if it's legal, but that's okay. It's basically, fine. they got a bottle of McCormick's vodka. That <laughs> shit got emptied on well Thursday, and booyah, we yep. got a fresh bottle of Polish shooters we can resell for eight bucks. 12 yeah. bucks, and my face already feels bucks. warm. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now, if you guys would ever want to join us in drinking Polish shooters, just come to the beautiful Quad Cities, and uh, we'll meet you at uh, the tap. Yeah, Milan's by far the nicest neighborhood in the Quad Cities. Yeah. <laughs> well, definitely go there. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Rutcation. What days did you guys take off and how did you do it? Um, well, per your idea, I split my week up. Mm. And I what? Yeah. Great cause, fucking idea. Because usually I take the second. Well, I used to take like the first week off in November and then that was not successful for me. So I'm like, oh, maybe I'll take the second week off because like the first week's not working. <laughs> <laughs> so I usually was planning on taking the second week off and then Garrett was like, you should split it up. So I took. What did I take? I worked on Monday and Tuesday, and then I took off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, obviously Saturday, Sunday. Mm -hmm. 
Monday, Tuesday, and then I'll go back Wednesday, Thursday this week, and then I'm off on Friday. Right. So tomorrow will be my last day to hunt, which is supposed to be raining here all day, so it's not going to happen. So really, today was like my last day to get it done. But you did. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason we do that is it like... It's smart. At, statistically, it if is. you look at like the Illinois harvest data and biologists, <laughs> most does come into estrus from like the 5th through the 9th. And you want to be... Specifically the 9th. Hunting... You know, before that and a little bit after that, what the best time. So instead of just locking yourself to the week, maybe where you're catching just the beginning of it, i.e. the second one, or the first week where you're like only catching the, you know, start of it at the end of your vacation, have your cake and eat it too. And then it breaks up your work schedule too. You go to work for two days, you hunt for like six to eight, go to work for two days and hunt again. I mean, it works out really well. Yeah, and by that, like six or seventh day of hunting, you're like, I'm ready to go back to work for like a day at least. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I need to shower. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Get dressed. I need some, I need some corporate work America back in my life because my hobby is fucking killing me right now. <laughs> and then you're over it after a day. You're like, shit, why do I want to come back here? <laughs> like a caveman walking in. Yeah. <laughs> fucking eyes don't work very well. <laughs> Seeing doubles delete. Allie's been fucking nuts. She's been getting up at two o'clock going to the gym oh, before yeah, you, she hunts. You told me that the other day. That mm-hmm. makes me fucking sick. Right? That's not even <laughs> like, sick. Allie woke up early this morning. It's like, Allie stayed up real fucking late last night. Like, there's a line that I draw at 4 a.m. 4 a.m. is like the morning. 2 a.m., that's like, oh, somebody was up late partying last night. Like, oh, last for night. sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you're you know like, when you're driving God, that early in the morning, you're like, are you just like me or are you fucked up right now? Like, I don't know. <laughs> but other people are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She like had an Instagram story this morning. It's like I like roll out of bed and like look out with one eye at four a.m. and it's like sleep is for the week and I've never felt worse in my life. <laughs> I'm sweating. I am too. <laughs> Because you're fucking laughing so much. I don't even know how these two see the deer. That's what Jim, her fiance, and I are like, I don't know how the fuck it happens, man. There's no way these two shut up long enough to... Looking at a squirrel (laughs) grabbing nuts and stuff, cracking a joke about squirrels grabbing nuts, laugh like hyenas for 20 minutes, scare every deer out of the fucking breath. The rut's over. (laughs) We haven't seen shit. Jim, this spot's fucking garbage. Goddamn. Why'd we hang this stand here? Let's be real, though. When we hunt, there is a point where we both shut up and we are silent for like hours. Apparently, yeah. yeah. There's right. the proof right in the right in the picture. Well, right that I don't think that this was proof of that because we were there for like it was what 6:40 when this mm-hmm. happened. That's fair. It, yeah, we didn't have enough time to like actually get into a deep conversation yet. <laughs> no. was Logan was still waking up. <laughs> yeah, she was for sure. Was. All right, so Allie, give me the synopsis of your day today, starting. When you woke up. At 2 a.m.? At 2 (laughs) a.m. 2 a.m., okay. Uh, So my alarm went off at 2 o'clock and I wanted to kill myself. (laughs) I rolled my fat ass out of bed. And then I went to the gym. And then I got home, showered, and I was like running a little bit ahead of time. Um, I think I texted you to tell me to tell me when you're yes. gonna be on your way. So Logan texts me and she's like, I'm on like, my way. Is this a test to make sure. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So I get all like showered and dressed and I go outside and I'm waiting for it. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be productive. I like, you know, starting off real good. It's gonna be a good day. I only have one day left to hunt. So I get on YouTube and I start like listening to different grunt calls. So I'm like sitting out on my front porch just blowing in my grunt call this morning. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. Jim's probably what like, what the fuck is she doing? <laughs> uh, and then Logan pulls up and then we sat in the driveway for like five minutes and we we're like, do we want to bring Lieutenant Danielle or no? And then we were like going back and forth, back and forth. You have to explain Listen, who Lieutenant, Lieutenant Danielle. Danielle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <They're> legless doe <dough> decoy. <laughs> Like Lieutenant Danielle, <laughs> it's literally that's a, a for dough. a fucking bevy of reasons. <laughs> it's a doe decoy that has no legs. legs. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you have to pause before you say that yell though. Yeah, Dan, yeah, Dan, Danielle, yeah. Yeah. yeah, she needs some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> we were sitting in one of our conversations the first time we took Lieutenant Danielle out was like we need to go get like a an American flag bandana and like wrap it around her head <laughs> <laughs> so anyways we were sitting there talking for like five minutes because we have this spot that we've been sitting at um, is on like the edge of our bean field this year and it's kind of perfect for this like southeast wind that we've been having um, 
but we've had these four, well, three does, we called the Sanderson sisters, been coming in every single morning through the same, they come in up like heading north on the edge of the um, field and then they cut into the timber like right behind us every morning at like seven o'clock. Mm-hmm. And then they picked up, so it was a doe and two fawns and then the last two days they picked up a third fawn, so there's been four of them, but they've been coming in like the same spot at the same time every day. So we decided to leave L- Lieutenant Danielle at home because you got live bait. Right, yeah, and mm-hmm. they've been coming in consistently, and they haven't noticed us there before. And we brought that buck decoy out last week, and they were all just, like, congregating around it. Like, they didn't seem to care about that one. But So we didn't bring her. So we walked out to the stand, and we got... <laughs> was that this morning that my bow got tangled up in the ladder? Oh, yeah. Jesus, yes. I don't know how we did anything this morning. <laughs> <laughs> so a little bit. Wait, the tow rope did, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, like the my uh, line to pull my bow up, mm-hmm. it got like, like literally weaved around the ladder. So I'm like trying to pull it up. I'm like, fuck, fuck, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so Logan's like, she what am I? Their light on. I was like, we're already up here. What's happening? Like, yeah, I find your bow. So then, like, Logan's like, I'll get it, I'll get it. So she like crawls halfway down, and then un un like messes it. So I get my bow up, and then what time we get in the tree? Like five thirty. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. yeah. I think I got there at 5.15. It doesn't take us long to walk there. No, it's like yeah. literally in my like backyard kind mm-hmm. of. Um, so we're sitting there and it was really, it was actually pretty windy this morning. Like you couldn't hear yeah. anything. Mm-hmm. Um, and then what, probably about like 6.35, still pretty dark. We had like a small buck come up <laughs> right in front of um, you. She was, her ass was, was sleeping. I kind of sleeping. <laughs> Allie's, it's like noon for Allie and I'm like, can hardly keep my eyes. I've been awake for seven hours. <laughs> I like opened my eyes and I was like, oh God, okay, there's a buck right there. <laughs> I know. She's like sitting like to my right. That's a right. good way to think about it. It is fucking noon for you at like seven. That sounds such, that sounds so shitty it's such to a me. pathetic like, life. Think about what time it is for her right now. Yeah, I don't even know how much energy she has. It's like fuck. Fa- <laughs> much energy. It's like I don't know, midnight basically. Mm. At six. Oh, that's why we had to get shooters. Yeah, gosh. Uh, me up. So I hear Logan go, Oh, there's a buck. So I like turn around thinking, like we have a ways and he's standing right, standing right in front of her and I was like, Oh, well he was he was pretty little. Mm-hmm. And he just like walked straight um walked in front of our trail camera and went straight back into the timber. And then I think that next buck came out, his strong hand came out like five minutes after that. Yeah, it was, I thought it was almost the same deer for a second. For a second, so it was, mm-hmm. it was dark enough to where you couldn't really tell a whole lot until he Right like, at first light. <clears throat> we just yeah. saw his throat, pa- I saw his throat patch. I think you probably would have had the same, similar angle. Mm-hmm. That's all I saw on him, is just him he- his head picking up. <laughs> um, <laughs> that is foaming. <laughs> <laughs> Got a lot of head on that one, Grant. Yeah. <laughs> Bushlight's known for being as smooth and drinkable as Guinness. It's I Guinness. mean, essentially, they're the, of the same quality. So, you got a nice, smooth, foamy top head on this one. <laughs> top head. Okay, get back. Uh, strong hand just came out. Yeah, strong hand comes out. Well, I had my binoculars out, and I was like, kind of looking behind me because all the deer that we've been seeing have been coming up like right behind me. So I'm like, well, maybe I can just get my binos out and see if there's anything else out in the oh, field wrap in the field uh-huh oh okay yeah so i was like let me see if there's anything that's out there that we can maybe have like a little bit more time to get ready if it is like gonna round this corner so i had my binoculars out and then i was like just getting ready to turn around and put them away and logan goes there's a buck and i was like oh god okay was it the same one or no and then i'm like looking and i'm staring and i'm like oh shit I think, oh, okay. I think I'm going to shoot that one. <laughs> She's like, oh, okay, okay. I was like, yeah. And I then mean, Logan I goes into crisis mode. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah, for sure. I, didn't, I think she was more controlled than I was. She was one shooting the deer. It happened so fast. I mean, he walked out and he was like, uh. Scrape. Well, yeah, he was like working this pine. What does he call that? Pine. pine what something with a B, I can't remember what he calls it. But we basically like put this like pine branch up, um, and he was like nosing it and then he walked straight out into the field right in front of me. I got my range finder out, he was twenty nine and a half yards out, and he like turned and looked like towards us. I don't think that he was steering at us. It looked like he was like looking at something that was behind our tree. So he didn't like notice any movement or anything, mm-hmm. but he stood there for a long time and I was able to like mentally prepare myself. <laughs> But then I get my bow, my um, bow drawn back, and all my pins. I have like a five pin sight, and they're all black. I'm like, okay, 
this is fucking nice. <laughs> and it's like too late for me at that point to let down because my bow, I have to push it back and it, like just a lot of movement. And he was like staring in our direction. But I could like see, obviously, like my pin on his body. It just wasn't lit up. So I like really had to take my time, think about it, make sure that because the last time I had a problem with like my string touching my harness. So I like had to make sure that my string wasn't touching anything. And then he was kind of quartering away from me. And I've had a problem before, like hitting that shoulder. So just a lot of thought going on. I'm like, if he, if he walks away before I get this arrow off, then like it's just not meant to be. But he stood there and I shot him and Logan got it on film and we went back and looked at it and just being like a negative Nancy I'm like I don't know I, I think that was far back I think that was pretty far back I can't tell oh my god is it dead where'd it go and we saw it run straight north to the road and I was like shit this is not good and he was like he was running pretty quick mm -hmm. so I don't know and then we sat there for a minute and we just kept like playing frame by frame by frame took a picture of it sent it to Garrett see what he thought isn't that nice though like this is your first yeah. experience filming right. yeah having that like breakdown moment that's what we said uh, yeah it's, man it's awesome that you'll have this memory forever mm -hmm. but like the tool the i know because like where do we go and look for him now or not i guess it depends on where i hit him right <laughs> and it happens so fast and your bow's are like gone uh -huh. and you, all you have is a flash yeah mm -hmm. but then like like you said you stop and you're boom boom mm -hmm. okay there it hit there it kicks there it, and it's like uh, you I can literally break it down yeah. frame by frame. You see where they ran. Or, yeah. yeah and I'm not stuff. putting no tactic cam down or GoPro, but you can't get that out of those. You know, you got to yeah. have somebody there with like a lens and, and watching it happen. So. Yeah. That was nice for sure. But even like looking at the footage at that time of morning, the screen itself was still like pretty dark where we couldn't really even like see the deer a whole lot in the in the footage. So we thought it was looked more far back than what it was. Mm -hmm. So like, well, I mean, I got full pass through on it. Like when my, you could see That's my, awesome. no, yeah, you could see my nocturnal in the field in, well, in the footage. And then it went off when it hit the dirt. So when I didn't see my, oh. my knock, I was like, mm. where'd the arrow go? Cause you couldn't see it in him when he was running off. And I was like, did it, did I like shoot under him? And it just like skirted into the timber or something. And then after, I don't know, probably five minutes, the knock came back on because you saw us laying out in the field. Yep, yep. I bet the blood literally made the contact. I, I'm serious. I bet. Oh, I, you I know, see it's, what you're it's saying. Blood will, blood will have connectivity. You know, oh, con okay. Connectivity, I should say. Yeah. Just like water transfers electricity because mm -hmm. your blood was covered. There's your metal, metal was covered. Yeah. In yeah. Blood. There's metal in blood. Iron. Yeah. 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 Well, so it was not on and then it and came <laughs> on and that made me feel better. I was like, oh God. Okay. Well, I guess... <laughs> Logan, should we get down and look at Oh, it? you guys did immediately. <laughs> it was really Because literally, I text too. Logan. I didn't know this. You shot like, a buck until you're down. I'm like, he's okay, like, wait stay to get in. in the field. And Rob was like, oh. Too late. I'm like looking around. I was like, oh, we're already here. <laughs> abort, abort. Get the fuck back in the tree. <laughs> well, it's like, if you're not as sure, you got to like give him time to like calm down. But I'm like, they text, Logan text me. She's like, I like, shot a buck. And I'm like, awesome. I'm literally at the gym getting ready for work. I'm getting ready to jump in the shower. <laughs> and I'm like, stay in the tree, relax, just take your time. She's like, we're <laughs> already in, in, the, in the field. I'm like, okay. Uh, so You're a little like Negate step one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> on a plan B, you and just then, fucking ruined the whole hunt. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next text, I'm like, I'm like, okay, how's the how's the air look? She's like, white hair. And I'm like, Oh yeah, there's two there was Wait, two white hairs on there. You did tell me there I was said a, good blood, but there is some there white hair. There were two on it. white that because I yeah. pointed that yeah, I was like two the blood. whole white hairs. I know, but it's me. I was like literally <laughs> told Logan I was pulling my bow back. I'm like, I'm setting myself up for a huge disappointment. Here we go. <laughs> Let it go. I clipped his belly. <laughs> Fuck white hair. <laughs> Shit. Literally two. 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 I'm talking about two singular white hairs. Like, yeah. If you go and, and was. brush that hide out of that deer right there mounted on the wall, you will have a white hair fall out. You're probably right. Like but when I thought of white hair, I thought like a tuft of like the white disappointment. You know what I mean? Yeah, when you like the fat, belly the hair. brisket. Yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. the worst for us both to be together at the same yeah, time. Yeah, like totally. It's white hair. You fuck like that a up. Little bit, like, we've had some bad experiences. So and come to find it's out, like, you're a little the, nervous. Where the deer was. So, like, oh I am God. immediately, so I'm like rushing now because I was like, ah, shit, I got to hurry up. I still, I'm going, I'm working today, you know? And I'm like, I got to, I'm going to run home and grab my camera and mm -hmm. go out there before I hit the road. And so, like, I'm, like, trying to send him advice and, like, pick up the blood, go for 50 yards. If it doesn't look good, then just wait, you know, and I'll watch the footage with you. I brought my laptop, you know, and 
then your fiance <laughs> comes out and go ahead with the damn story. Here they are like contradicting themselves. I don't know how this happened, but keep going. Okay. This is so I would have loved to be like a bird watching oh us. Gosh. This would have been so embarrassing. Mm-hmm. It probably okay. Would have. So we get down and we find the well, we didn't find the arrow, it was laying right there. It was covered in like bright red blood. There's no like fat no like meaty tissue nothing nope. but i'm like there's two white hairs i clipped his under side <laughs> oh god this is not good <laughs> so we're like okay well let's just see if we can find any blood we would walk like two yards there'd be like a <coughs> drop of blood okay there's a drop of blood it's not very much blood it is red <laughs> it's red but it's not very much <laughs> we'd walk like two more yards okay there's another drop like literally <laughs> like one step by step drop <laughs> drop just staring at the ground like literally staring at the ground there's mm-hmm. a drop there's a drop there okay there's another drop and this took like 10 minutes because we were like literally like putting a puzzle together mm-hmm. and then this field has just like a tiny like knob like a little tiny hill a little roll like a mm-hmm. little roll like in six it six inches that's what she on said. The other side of it. <laughs> <laughs> on the other side of it. So we're walking. I don't know the story. We're walking. Reason. Garrett says only go halfway through the field. I'm like, okay, well, yeah. I mean, guess we don't want to like bump him if he is laying in here like well, par- partially wounded. So I looked at the aerial map and it was 113 yards from their the edge of their field, the timber to the road, which is a gravel two track road, and then there's. You know, he's got a little bit of trees there. That's not and that the far. Neighbors. So know. what I didn't want him to do is like, okay, if I'm a wounded deer, they ran straight away. He hit the first bit of cover and then laid down if he's hurt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't want you guys to get like right to the edge and then boom, bump him up and run. I'm like, walk halfway across the field, like about 50 yards. And if, if, it's, if it's good blood, keep going. But if not, then back out. Yeah. So that's what my thought process was. I didn't want you to get to the road where he had literally ran in the timber 10 yards. and Right. Then, well that's why i told her i was like well looking at the footage now like the shot does look good but it worries me how fast that he was running how little blood that there is but i know like he's in the wide ass open right now and he's probably doing everything that he can just to get into the timber Mm -hmm. and and i told logan i was like either this is like a really bad shot or he is just like pulling up in blood inside of his chest cavity and he's just not leaking it out. And he's mm-hmm. shooting a small fixed blade broadhead too. Like you're yeah. not going to have the red carpet treatment that he just Let me ask you guys this. Is this the... <clears throat> that's sorry, the for those of you guys that entrance. are watching this on YouTube. That's the entry. That's the entry? Yeah. And he, and was, he was quartering, quartering away. away. Mm-hmm. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. So Money. we're yeah. like yeah. walking, yeah. walking. Okay, here's the halfway Sweet. point. We better stop. And then I'm like looking ahead of me at the at the tree line and I'm like... There's like a weird mound of brown shit laying up there. <laughs> There's Dying no the way. Field. There's no way that's my deer. There's no way that's my deer. So I'm like going to grab my rangefinder out of my pocket just to like have a better view. And then here Not my your binoculars. My my binoculars were in my backpack that I left <laughs> back by the arrow, I think. Or they were on my back and I was just too lazy to get them out. I'm not sure. But I just I just didn't want to look like a dumbass and grab them, you know, and be like, no, there's I'm like just looking at my binoculars, like maybe I can just like grab my range finder, like sneak it up and see. <laughs> like look at a like you see like a weed that looks like a deer, you know? And then here my fiance comes like walking up behind us and he's like, What the fuck are you guys doing? Your deer's laying right there and I was like, Stop it and then we just like both start like running and screaming. <laughs> Like literally laying right in front of us. Yep. Right in the like, middle of the field. He probably turned, ran like sixty yards. Damn. She like turned her like she like turned around like awkwardly. <laughs> it was like me. And I'm in my mind I'm like, oh my god, Garrett said we should stop. I'm like, we went too far. And then like then I, I didn't even know Jim was there. I just turned around and Jim's far. like walking and I'm like, who is this? guy and then he's like your deer's right there and i was like oh we wasted the good surprise on you (laughs) (laughs) oh god yeah no it was it couldn't have happened any better and then i'm like sitting there looking at it i'm like that that fucker is dead and i killed it (laughs) that's pretty cool and then i started crying a little bit i think and then i looked over at the sun and the sun was like just coming up i'm like logan the sun's coming up let's get some pictures (laughs) i was like someone who takes like some pictures um i like was thinking it but i was so glad she said it because i didn't want to like rush their moment but at the same time i was like oh my gosh this is gonna be such good photography (laughs) it was so cool that's true it was so cool yeah yeah Mm. and he's a hammer too like he's a hell of a nice deer he's a nice deer oh yeah so good oh that brow tine backside backside g2 
That's like weird. That's kind of like the Mirage Buck. He's got one like strong big, tall, eight. strong eight side and then a 10 point side. Wait a second. I was Essentially. Just... Tell him why we call him strong hand. Oh, well, I have. Yeah. OK, so I guess we actually have a lot more pictures of this deer than I realized. But we had just, I guess, never named him. Because he looked honestly smaller in the trail camera pictures. They, that'll happen. <coughs> but he <laughs> had a broke hoof. <laughs> it looked yeah. like seriously. Like, what? It like, yeah. Like it looked so, like a crab claw almost. So two hooves, you know, they come to the point. I, I mean, I bet it was past half. Like yeah. He had a full hoof, and then probably like three quarters of the way down, it was like sheared off. <laughs> so then we so, had to name him Stronghand. Like Stronghand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, yeah. A, like t- a scary, scary movie. movie. Yeah. Take a strong hand. <laughs> But you can you take my hand if you want to? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's it's like a mix of potatoes. It's like a mixture of all the movie quotes. You guys are ass. We had actually talked about that <laughs> during the hunts. It was kind of perfect. <laughs> and at the end, we rumbled into my buck like William Neeson from Taken. I found my family. <laughs> <laughs> How many fucking movie references can we get in here? Oh, oh man. That's awesome. Like we talked about the song that you you need to play when you make the episode mm. when it's like when the deer turns to look at us. And then it's like a scene in the Titanic when Rose, her bitch ass, is laying on the door all by herself. Like there's there's enough room for him to get on there for at least five minutes. Mm. Yeah. And then he's like sinking to the bottom, and then Rose they're playing that really bitch. sad. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're playing that like. Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> <laughs> like if you could please get the right set song and play that, be really completing our uh, whole and <laughs> our vision. vision here. I could just rip it off of YouTube. <laughs> so they literally they got pictures of the buck working their scrape, mm-hmm. like seconds before the shot. Yeah, that was cool. And then these two dinguses s- totally smoke this deer. And don't even real like Logan cut the footage, probably uh, I'm saying a second before it died. Like I'm watching the deer. I'm like <laughs> after I go out there and see it, right? Because when I made it, it there, the deer out. was yeah. Like I'm like wait, what? like I watched the footage and it's like running, running. I'm like in my mind processing how far it's going, and then it just the video clip stops. I'm like because I told her I'm like how did you not see this? You're I get that like when you're on ground level, maybe there's like a small swell. But when you're in the deer stand, there's no way she ever before. Because I'm thinking about us. When we shoot it's deer, it's immediately dark, like, though. like, cameraman, like, pans and follows, and Hunter, like, binos up and monitor. What's he like, doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? What's oh, he doing? Oh, you should have you should have been in that tree with us. Like, Logan trying to film. I'm like, oh, my God. Is it dead? Where did it go? What, the, what is it doing? Where did I hit it? Is it dead? Oh, my God. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Do you just expect deer to just fall over like, it got me. I, oh, oh, shit. Just play dead like a possum. Like, just. <laughs> These dramatic the turkey year. death that we had a couple years ago when he shot a turkey. I was smoke. like, but I'm literally ah. like, I'm like, if she would have left it recording for two seconds at the most, that deer would have just went. It was dead on the run. Yeah, for like sure. that's why it ran so hard. When you hit a deer really good, they just like rock it on their ass and go till no. Well, I thought it was like, oh, cyanar sucker. <laughs> ain't getting <Jesus>. this one. <laughs> Christ, this is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That's episode 69. Yeah, episode 69. No disappointment. Episode 69. 90% us laughing. We gotta have, uh, yeah. we gotta have him on for episode 100. Yeah. Uh, yep. Why not? The golden one? Yeah. Oh. yeah. So uh, I think we can get enough to make an episode out of it. You took your deer to Wayne. Oh, yeah. Yeah, t- yeah I took it there today. <laughs> so I don't know. It's pretty, pretty dang awesome. Yeah. That. And I'm so like. I mean, this is my first, well, okay, so my first bow kill was like a small spike buck seven years ago on, I think it was November 7th, because I think I just oh, yeah. showed you that picture yep. like two days ago. Mm-hmm. So this is like my first like like nice, I've killed like a lot of does and stuff with my bow, but never like a deer, like not like a buck like this, but I have to say Garrett was in my little brain this morning when I saw this deer. Because I have, like, a... We were talking about how, like, years of passing deer have, like... They're starting to, you know, like, visually pay off. We're getting a lot bit, like, bigger deer on camera. And then Garrett was like, yeah, Logan always, you know, passes, like, really nice deer. I'm like, who, you know, who do you think you are? Tiffany Lukoski? Just shoot the damn thing. <laughs> so oh, when I saw that one, I was like, I heard Garrett... <laughs> I heard Garrett in my head saying that, and I was like, I'm going to shoot the dang thing. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's so true. Like but I'm I, so glad I did though. Yes. <laughs> and he's awesome. Like he's not a dink. No. He's a freaking great he's beer. Perfect. And it's like so. When, so the backstory with Logan, right? We sh- she bow hunted before I met her, and then Grant and I let her hunt on our property that we have permission on. I was like, whenever I went hunt with Grant, I'd go take Logan out, and she's never shot a, a buck with her bow ever. Like ever, not even spike, nothing. She'd killed some does, and here'd come along this hundred inch eight pointer. No, it's not big enough. And then here'd come along and say, No, it's not big enough. And finally, I'm like, Woman, you never killed a buck with your bow. Like, who the hell are you now? You know, Nicole from Reeves? I mean, Jesus Christ, shoot the thing, get one under your belt. And then, so yeah. funny story about you two tracking the first deer she ever shot. We, Grant and I have helped her track it, Buck, I should say. She shot one all in cloud nine. It's a nice little eight pointer. You nothing crazy to write home about. And so we're film, we're tracking. She's like, I think I hit it good. I wasn't filming her. She was hunting. We were on the other side of the property. And uh, literally, we're from here to the, the window away from this deer. And I'm like, I'm fucking with her because we'd been maybe 50 yards. And when you're tracking at night, it feels like 50 yards is like 100. And there's good blood. And I'm constantly like shining the light up the trail. And and she's bloodhound and like on the dirt, like looking at the blood, like looking all six inches ahead. And I'm I'm like, I don't know, babe. And then I'm like, he's kind of going uphill. I think we should maybe back out. He's dead, like 10 feet in front of her. And like clear as day in the film, you see him. And she's like, ah, oh, really? I'm like, yeah. And she's like looking at the blood. I just don't know. And I'm like, well, seriously, if she, I, we might have like backed like out. Like literally, that. we would have backed out if I wouldn't have like, babe, look up <laughs> and that so, would have been us today oh, yeah, you guys yeah. Sure, tripped over sure. it. yeah we were like we we're like stink on shit like blood right here blood right here blood right i don't care about what's in front of me there's blood right on, on my foot <laughs> so, Jesus. that's for sure mm-hmm. no it was just cool like this was my first year bow hunting with another female yes and it's just like i mean i feel like we were like very similar like skill levels like like <laughs> very like on the same page with mm-hmm. pretty much like everything yep yeah just like when to move when not to when to like even like pack up at night or it or mo- when to move right. estrogen <laughs> levels know. were through the oh for sure <laughs> just like i don't know it just made it like nice to just kind of like have someone to talk to that was fun and then also like the skill level is the same like it just definitely made us closer i was so so thankful to be there when she got the the buck that she did because it was it just solidified everything we're friends for life now blood sisters <laughs> they just they nickname everything we yeah got, like, strong hand the swords and sisters <laughs> lieutenant danielle i mean oh, we, this is, yeah that's true but do you did you name like you got to name your deer stand that's one thing you haven't done because i like oh, yeah, I always I ask know. i'm like what where are you going they're like oh the one that's over by the way i'm like no 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 no, no. like give no, it on 70 yards no. north of the thing in the yeah. barn <laughs> oh, <laughs> It seems like we can make that a little bit more efficient. Yeah, How about, we probably should do that. <laughs> you walk out this way and North you see side? that when you go sit in it. <laughs> I don't know. I yeah I don't I mean you called that one the haven't. summits we always called yeah like the summit double it's the strong hand stand now yeah that's, that's true yep that's true mm-hmm. that's a strong stand strong hand set I wouldn't have shot that deer. If you and ah. Garrett oh. didn't come help me hang those stands up, because I have to say, I only I only climbed in seventeen foot ladder stands up until this year, and you guys like really <laughs> pushed me to like grow the fuck up, <laughs> and it worked out well. Clearly, that, else, oh, um, going to the stand with the light. Oh going yeah, going to the stand with the light and climbing the stands. Yeah, uh huh. I I conquered both challenges this year. <laughs> Look at you now. I know. <laughs> See? And it worked. <laughs> it did. So, good. Yeah. And BBD. And dude, yeah. And BBD. He's, so he'll be at the launch party. Everybody can oh, see yeah. him. Oh, yeah. Yep. And hear the cackle. Yeah. Probably oh, be able to my, watch. Mine or his. <laughs> Yours. <laughs> Probably be able to watch it. You should get his hoof mounted, like have it hanging, like, <laughs> like just a shoulder mount with his strong hand hoof, like completely. <laughs> <laughs> that would actually be really over. hilarious. I, I want to turn. I've it never into- seen a deer mounted like that, but I'm sure <laughs> it's possible. Like he's coming out of the wall with his one leg behind, but his one leg. Oh no! <laughs> Strong hand. I'm just gonna take it and like mount it in my bathroom, use it as like a towel hook or something. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> What's wrong with these people? So, obviously, the best part of the morning was killing the deer. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, the interaction after the shot. So, like, actually, like, in retrospect, Logan, I always think it's, like, interesting to, like, unpack Garrett and I's reactions post-shot. Like, what it, what did we say? What did we say that was stupid? What did we say that was pretty smart? You know, because people say stupid shit when they're jacked up. <laughs> oh, it just now, rolls it off. It just rolls that, off the tongue. And I... So, as, as this was all happening... Whew, Shoots the deer. What happened from your perspective? Not the not the hunter's perspective. Now I know when Garrett shoots a deer, my heart is like <laughs> beating just as hard as he is. But as you're filming, what did you think like post shot and what what happened? <laughs> like take us back to the actual impact in the next thirty seconds. The actual impact. This was only the second deer that I had filmed um, being shot. I think this was the second one, maybe, maybe third, but, um, like Garrett was saying when I was following it, like that's all I was concerned with was just following the deer with the camera so that we could see where it, where it went. And then pretty much after it got a hundred yards away, that just shut off. So I just shut the camera off <laughs> instead of maybe waiting a little longer. Yeah. It wasn't a hundred. <laughs> There's no way in hell it was a hundred yards. But, um, after that, so I, um, I'm still perfecting like my filming skills. So I forgot to like pan over to Allie and get her excitement. I think we were both like pretty, like she got nervous, which made me nervous. And then I gave her the camera (laughs) and she's going frame by frame. (laughs) And I can tell she's like getting a little like, (laughs) like not in a bad way. She doesn't mean to me or anything. Maybe that'll come later after like years, (laughs) like hand me the camera. (laughs) You get that shot on film, bitch. (laughs) If not, then fuck yourself. (laughs) It's probably going to be a, probably be a while from now, but yeah, I was like, Oh, like I think she's maybe having a moment where she, just really wants to see how that shot went. So give me the camera, bitch. <laughs> so we were looking through the film, um, which is totally different than us. I'm gonna do it myself. Because when we shoot, it's like <gasps> we look and we talk and we process, and then it's like probably a good three minutes. We're like, let's watch the film. Mm-hmm. Oh no, I needed to know. I need to know how bad it was. <laughs> oh, I mean, like we were excited. It was like, yeah. hit, but run. It was like, <gasps> let's watch it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> It definitely didn't die in the field. It didn't die in the last on eight camera. seconds. Yeah. Like, think about how different your reaction would have been if you would have been like, he just rolled. Like if you just wouldn't have touched that little button. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> right. No. That it. Right. That's the, always the thing about hunting is like, the things that go on the what ifs. Oh, I mean, for always sure. A what if game with like what? Everything. What so if rule you, of thumb with filming. When you're when you're filming and there's a hit, any hit, any anything, leave it run, watch till the deer is no longer in sight, and then immediately don't pause, nothing, boom, right to the hunter. And you can still engage in the conversation, just point it in their direction. Mm-hmm. Like let the minute let the clip be like five minutes long. It's do you, yeah, do you remember watching do that, that clip of Luke Bryan when he shot that deer and oh, he's is like, he is, he <laughs> is he down? Is he down? Is he down? Is he down? <laughs> me yeah. if you would have seen that deer roll over i would have made the most like stroked out face and i would have probably just fallen out of the tree so i feel like everything happens for a reason to, like go to pan over to her she's, she's not like in in the the she's at the bottom she just fire pulls down the tree oh. he's down <laughs> let's go get him and then Allie rolls a, runs a 440 and 330 <laughs> exactly oh, but otherwise no. I was glad I was glad that we could see her knock in the field like that was for the for the bit that we did see it like yeah. it was like okay that was a pass through and then that always the makes you feel better which is, <laughs> which is huge two yeah. holes man mm-hmm. because how many you're shooting 60 pounds aren't you mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. yeah I mean it's plenty of energy yeah, but I've <laughs> I've had some bad. This is only the second deer I've ever had full pass through with. But that long bow, I know it's hard. I know. <laughs> Your bow's like you guys 30, don't remember the five inches actually. 30, actually. 30, yeah, it, damn. It's, it's like it's it an like an Amazon. short than uh, three feet. Yeah, I like marvel at her as Ooh. I'm walking behind her, and she's like walking through the sun when we're walking out of the stand. I'm like, she looks like a Amazon princess right now. <laughs> she looks like some sort of like beast. <laughs> Very impressive. <laughs> this whacking tree. <laughs> so, so then, okay, moving. Let's let's uh, live in the windshield, not the rearview mirror, for a minute. What's what's the plan for 
the next half of the season. I mean, we're right pretty much halfway through, maybe a little bit less. What are you guys' goals for the rest of the year? Um, we're focusing on Logan now because <laughs> I've, I've killed two deer this year. So <laughs> she told me specifically, when you shoot a buck, I will hunt. And then that happened today, and there is no takes these back skis. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. So that's the goal. <laughs> I hope so. That'd be pretty cool if we both got one in one year. Mm-hmm. That'd be super exciting. <laughs> and nothing else? For, I mean, what about what about your gun season? Didn't your muzzleloader get a freaking revamp? I got a freaking facelift. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where I'm going to need a facelift after I shoot it. Because I feel like that scope is going to come back and hit me in the face. Didn't you shoot it once, Art? Yeah, I shot it in the lead sled. Oh. And that even was questionable. Huh. So I'm going to have to shoot it quite a bit more before this gun season, but I'm excited to at least shoot it because I've had that gun for three years now and I've never killed a deer with it because my dad told him, my dad told me not to name him because who knows why, but my dad keeps taking my gun and hunting with it and I can't kill anything with it. But he is a big boy now and he got his own gun this year so I get to take my own gun out wow mm-hmm. yeah but you what, don't you put this on me Ricky you, Bobby yeah <laughs> don't you put that on me Ricky Bobby <laughs> <laughs> you are not paralyzed <laughs> don't you put that evil on me <laughs> don't you put that evil on us <laughs> you're the reason why that gun got a new trigger and probably the scope and whoever else knows whatever were you talked him into? I didn't do any. Uh huh. No, it's no, real no, no, nice, no, no. so I gotta say that trigger is pretty nice. I know you're welcome. <laughs> but I'm worried about the scope. I'm not used to like that high power. It's really magnified. Yeah, and it's really sensitive. And I feel like I have to like retrain like where to position my fit because it sits quite a bit higher too. Well, that's because you got the wrong rings. But well, I don't I, tell Jim that. Shh. <laughs> Anywho, she, so he put a night force, a really nice scope, Ooh. on the muzzleloader, and it's got a. It's what muzzleloader is it? Uh, it's no, we got the Leopold, the Leopold Mark V. Oh, that's right. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. He was gonna buy the knife. The so knife, he, yeah. It's like a twenty-five power magnification scope. Like it's a Jesus. very high-end rifle scope, <clears throat> and um, the the bases that he the, or the rings, excuse me, that he got are high rings. So mm-hmm. it sits up really high. So she, he needs to add some padding there. To the comb height. Yeah, because it's weird to like re like retrain your like head where to lay to get your eye relief. So instead right. of like just laying your head over and having your cheek well hit your cheek, mm-hmm. it's got to be more closer to your jawline, which is uncomfortable for most people. Yeah. And um, anyway, long story short, he's he's got a really yeah, nice because scope. they can't let their neck relax. It's got to be like fully extended. Yeah. Instead of pulling the gun to your face, you got to put your face to the gun, which it shouldn't be that way. It should just be like there lock we go. it in. Yep. Anywho, the gun shoots like a dream, and it yeah, shoots lights out. It does. It's a Remington 700 muzzleloader. The UML, yeah. So it's very similar to like the CVA Paramount, how mm-hmm. it's got a, a brass, you know, all-in-one primer, and then you still load the charge and load the bullet. So yeah, it's weird, like throwing a brass in, like you feel like you're going out like hunting with a rifle. It's weird. <laughs> Instead of just like a little 209 primer. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm excited though. I hope that I can kill anything with. I mean, a, coyote. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. We were just talking about that the other day too. Like if a coyote walked out, I'd probably ruin my whole deer hunt just to kill that thing. <laughs> oh, you are talking also, too. Also, during uh, all this season, we've either had this is the oh, most possums yeah. I've seen in, sitting in a deer stand in the morning. Well, I don't know. It's like all times, mm-hmm. morning and night. And we were trying to decide if it was a good or a bad omen. The I whole think time. it's a good one though because we didn't see one this morning. Exactly. But so. there was a dead one right in front of my driveway. Did you see that? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Possums yeah, are right. incredible animals they're yeah. the only north american mm-hmm. marsupial they have a, a severely low average blood temperature they're impossible they can't get rabies i mean it's seriously i mean not that i'm like obsessed uh, with someone's geeking out possums yeah no i'm <laughs> hey, it's serious that's it's a crazy. weird number of biological facts to know about a, a <laughs> I don't large know ass rodent yeah they have a low body apparently temperature. you're interested <laughs> though whatever i'm not gonna yeah. eat in this I know. Cool, man. Where's your glasses? Whatever. Can we tuck your shirt in? Did I know I am? They're marsupials, and Pokemon they have a prehensile tail. So, like, they're unlike the kangaroo. They are you going to a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament this weekend? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Enough of my statistics. It's not possible. <laughs> but now I do think it's a good omen, though. Yeah. Wait. Good. Oh yeah. Because okay. <clears throat> yep. Is that a good? Is that, a, is that is that an oxymoron? Mm. Wait. A, I feel like a bad omen would be an oxymoron. I don't know. I think you're you're right. Using think think about this too much. I think I need to go bit of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Bullshooters are really getting us now. So, 
Other than that, is there anything you want to... We, we've covered the hunt mm -hmm. and the kill, mm -hmm. and it's awesome. And you guys have it. You filmed it. We're planning on making an episode with it. And we talked about the future. I mean, who knows what happens? You're going to shoot something with your muzzleloader. Logan, good luck. And then, I mean, other than that, I mean, maybe we'll see more of you two in the, in the future seasons of Last Breath, huh? Oh, for sure. <laughs> oh, girl. Oh, girl. Yeah, oh, girl. <laughs> Well, yeah. We'll start by naming your stand sets, okay? Okay. <laughs> Baby steps. <laughs> we'll just post them in the comments of this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this yeah. Video. Let's go get another bottle of shooters, and I yeah. can name them all tonight. Right. Any would you rather's off the top of your head there? Uh, okay. Yeah. Would you guys rather shoot a half rack buck that is uh, one of your hit listers this year, or shoot a fully put together 140? What would you rather do? Shoot the half rack off a of Booner or shoot a full racked nice buck, you know? Very respectable mm. buck. Well, how old How old is the... I'm not telling you either oh. one. So, okay. yeah, that sucks. <laughs> but. Probably going with the 140 full rack. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Allie? Same. Same <laughs> answer. <laughs> Would you guys rather hunt uh, your muzzleloader season out of a ground blind or your... Your gun seasons, your general gun seasons, would you rather hunt it out of a ground blind or out of a deer stand? But the interaction that you're going to get with the deer out of a ground blind with your gun is going to be 150 yards plus. The interaction that you're going to get out of your stand is 80 yards plus. So they're going to be closer with the deer stand, but you're not going to have the amenities of being able to rest it on your ground blind window, most likely. What would you rather have? I have never shot a deer out of a stand with a gun. So I'm going to go with in the blind just because it's what I'm familiar with. But that's just me. I say for the sake of my face, I would rather shoot it out of a ground blind too because I've shot my muzzle over out of a deer stand before. <laughs> huh. We hardly kill deer out of stands. Yeah. But it's, it's only the we, been a couple. It's, it's the way we hunt. Yeah. You know. mm hmm. Hmm. I mean, you were in one of our blinds tonight. They're hard blinds, you know. I mean, it's the Taj Mahal. Seriously, oh, what? I felt like I was in the middle. Like, did you ever play? Um, what is that? What is that farming game that you, we used to play? Far Farmville. Farmville. I felt like I was in the middle of Farmville, like in like the mansion, when you have like, this is like my perfect like plot that I've made here and here and here because I have all the money in the world in Farmville. Oh shit! And then you're like living inside of a mansion. Like literally window, that you know. swanky ass teacher and wood salesman money. <laughs> you had a uh, top fucking job, bud. You had a, like a real ass front door with like a, a <laughs> yeah, fucking do. door handle, like windows that you could like open and shut and lock them. You had like little doors that you could open. You had like a hook for your heater. I mean, I could have literally taken a nap in there. I felt like I need to do like housekeeping. Like after housekeeping. I, left there. I know. We're like, should we? Is there is there it's a Black and Decker like a little vacuum that we can like clean? up our mud that's a good girl yeah <laughs> <laughs> we were like joking like most deer don't have like the choice of what they eat and these deer are like where do you want to go tonight do you want to go to the beach <laughs> you want to go caviar or filet mignon <laughs> <laughs> you want to go out by steakhouse or sushi hut <laughs> Most deer like mm, I think I got a flake of like some clover. <laughs> I think I'm so poor. I have to go drive through a McDonald's and order off the dollar menu, and then you have like these deer who are just like I mean so nonchalant. Like I'm just gonna go eat all these turnips yeah. and these clovers, and these other deer are just peasants. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly, yeah. exactly the way we That's felt. a pretty nice spot. That groundhog was living his best life, though. Oh, dude, Alan? Alan. 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 The whole time we were in that ground blind, we are like, Alan, Alan, Alan. Alan. So no. we got a ground blind that like, has got to be within, have a, have a little cove or a den within 20 yards. He comes out, same spot every time, and just chomps on the clover. Oh, he loved it. Oh, yeah. He looks like he's in heaven. He had a big old day. thick booty on him. Mm -hmm. He was eating real good. His, like, that ground blind's in a pretty... Like, Rippled when he was eating. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was like, oh my god, it looks He's like me when fatty. I'm sitting in a mirror doing the truffle shuffle. Truffle shuffle. He's well pampered. That ground blind that you guys are sitting in is a pretty good location. It's been about in the location about six or seven bucks over 140 get dropped in that field. So it's a good hell of a good spot. We just it's a rebuild year. Wait until next year. So 
All right. Well, in closing, we'll just leave it at this. Allie, they can find you on social media. I don't even know how to spell your last name. <laughs> no, it's A Mango. A Mango. A underscore. And you are Logan. <laughs> underscore Bulkus. Okay. And you know how to find us. And for updates with these two crazy cats, check out the last breath inner circle. Other than that, it's been fun, women. 69, dude. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, episode fifty nine. Yes. <laughs> Be a good human, hunt hard, stay humble, and don't waste it.